and welcome to Happy Hour Hypnosis, Happy Hour 1111. I am your host, Dr. Millie, and thank you so much for tuning in for the week of March 19th up until the week of March 26th. Wow, we're almost done March already. Equinox is tomorrow, <clears throat> so today is the last full day of winter. Tomorrow spring begins. We just had a new moon in Pisces. Thanks you for to those of you who tuned in to my <clears throat> excuse me new moon in Pisces mini reading. And I really am trying to figure out how to do more readings. So I'm wondering if I'm going to start doing a reading for the masculine and feminine, how to be healthy each week, or considering just different kind of moon times, even though I'm not an astrologer at all, but those are high energy times. For the time being, we're going to keep it as it is so that I read, I do a chakra reading of the energy, how to be healthy in your chakras for the week, and how to be healthy in the mind, body, and spirit using the um, other decks that I use, which are the Earth Magic by Stephen B. Farmer deck, the Wisdom of the Oracles uh, deck by Paula Aaron Reed, and the uh, Daily Guidance from Your Angels. So here we are. A very clear card popped out. This is a blue chakra, and I want to. Thank you for joining. This entire track, this entire program is a meditation. And so even when I'm speaking, I'm speaking in a meditative voice. And the entire thing is just to allow it to flow over you and to take what you can from the reading without thinking and uh, too hard on it. Now, I do do the chakra reading from using Tori Hartman's deck, um, the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. And what we've got this week is the blue chakra. So this is the third eye. This is the fifth chakra. And this chakra is about finding your way of expressing yourself. Uh, this is not the third eye. This is your th throat chakra. Sorry. Your throat chakra. Finding a way of expressing yourself, what comes from your voice, and also other methods of expression. So the overall impression of the fifth chakra is communication. The key words are truth, communication, loyalty, serenity, faith, spirituality, creative expression. The manifesting intention for the throat chakra, the cards of the fifth chakra, the throat chakra reveal at a core level matters of communication which includes creative focus and your ability to be heard and understood. Being able to communicate the truth you feel in your heart will bring forward all the positive attributes to these cards. When you deny your heart's knowledge, challenges will present themselves. Here you will find a definition of personal leadership and redefine beliefs that, you, that no longer serve you. Personal responsibility will be brought into play. The blue cards are a reflection of how you relate to the world. All matters concerning self-expression will be revealed. These include personal forms of expression such as writing, art, speaking, and presentation skills. The resulting experiences in your life are linked to how you communicate with the world around you. In essence, this means that you will not get what you ask for, but you will get who you are reflected back at you. And this card that I've drawn is the workaholic card. Brad Blueberry is the character. Here, the earthy brown of creation mixes with inspirational violet. This card indicates one of the most powerful manifesting energies. Now you are very prolific. If what you are creating stalls, you may need to recharge. Know your limits. Okay, so we've come off of a huge change in energy. Uh, this past week, these past couple of weeks, where we've been redirected, maybe we've been on course, we've been taken off course, and just shown that we have to look again at what we're doing, 
what we're manifesting, what we're wishing for, the direction that we're moving in. And the theme of this card is, while I worked, my life happened. The legend is that Brad Blueberry paints and paints and paints. He has no time for anything other than perfecting his art. And Elder Blueberry reminds Brad that one day he will be old and shriveled too, and so he'd better live life to the fullest. Brad takes the advice and discovers that having fun enriches and sharpens his art. He finds out that life is what makes valuable work. And life makes work valuable. The inspiration behind this card is, are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? <clears throat> Busy work may help, may be helping you hide from the real issues. And this is a theme this week. Interesting. I met a man at a golf course. He actually owns a golf course. And he used to be a baseball player in college. And now he runs a golf course. And every day he watches soap operas from middle of the day until late afternoon. And he says that it's his way of, you know, if he can't have the life that he wanted to have, he might as well watch other people have it. And so I was wondering why I met that man and he said that story. And then he also complained about his nephew who plays video games all day. And he was saying that, kind of in another breath, what a waste of a life to just spend it looking down at your phone all day. And I thought, oh, it's so interesting that he's commenting on his nephew and the younger generation that are on their phone playing video games, so, so, so in quote, quote unquote, wasting their life, and yet he's kind of wasting his life playing, um, watching soap operas. And we can waste our life doing anything, even if it's something that we think is valuable. So we might think that spending 16 hours a day working and earning money is valuable, or we might think that over spending too much time on our business or on our entrepreneurial work is is making our life valuable. When really we wanna look and tune into ourselves and see, are we just making ourselves busy? Are we, can, are we tricking ourselves and conning ourselves into believing that that is important work? When what if we can really get that work done in four hours or eight hours instead of 16 hours? And so we really wanna look at ourselves this week and assess and meditate on where the hours in your day are going and if they're well-placed or if they're misplaced, if you're tricking yourself into doing something that you might think is important when really you know that it's not. Busy work may be helping you hide from the real issues. And so the personal inquiry is, am I working too much and suffering from burnout? Is there something important that I am avoiding? So that's what we need to ask ourselves this week. And it's good to wear blue and to be surrounded by blue crystals this week and to notice blue objects. And there's so many pretty blue birds out right now. The sky is so pretty and blue. So there's blue all around us and blue is very calming. And blue calms us so that we can get to know ourselves better. The key ideas to this card are feelings of inadequacy, transformation indicated, not being fulfilled by work, heeding warnings, refreshing your mind to improve your work. The key words are talent, fun, and friends. And so maybe you just need to recognize your talent. For me this week, this past week, one thing that I kind of recognized was how important my intelligence is. And I've always known I'm intelligent and I've always been told I'm intelligent and I've always used my intelligence. But if I ask myself, have I highly regarded my intelligence? Have I used my intelligence to the fullest? I have to say no. And so that's a big turning point in my life that's come out recently. And it might sound really simple, but the most obvious, your most obvious strength might be the one that you're downplaying the most. And so think about that and what your true talents are, what you really should be doing with your time. And maybe having fun and, and spending time with friends 
uh, is what you should be doing more. And so here's the meditation. And so as always, I ask you to be sitting in a comfortable position um, with your feet flat on the floor and your back straight up, or you could be lying down, or you could be in lotus position, whatever feels comfortable for you. Take a deep breath in from the belly of your chakra, the base of your root chakra, the base of your spine, all the way deep down into your abdomen, as, re as far down as your groin or your perineum. That's the muscle that holds you all inside. And breathe in all the relaxation and breathe out all the tension. And imagine completing something you are excited about. Imagine completing something you are excited about. Now stretch your arms out. Become aware that you are floating on water. The water is at the perfect temperature and in harmony with your body. The lady in the lake is holding you. Feel yourself twirling freely and playing in this space. She invites you to relax into her. Enjoy. And all the wisdom and the epiphanies that come from switching over our brain so that we're not directing it in the same place all the time, but we're switching up the other part of the intellect or the other part of the brain or the other part of the nervous system. That's where the real learning comes, is going back and forth between our cognitive self and our spiritual self or our deeper knowing self. We have to do that equally in order to balance out the other and in, and in order to fine tune the other and highlight the other and in order to drive ourselves towards higher goals and higher wisdom and reach our mission. And so if you're a workaholic, then you're looking for fun. And I've been counseling people, even people in my personal life this week on telling them that they're burned out. And I've been noticing my own inclination towards overworking, which is something that I've known, but you're always having to work on it. No matter, even if you feel you've worked on it, then you're spiraling up, you're ascending. So you're going further into this and doing more work in the same area. And I want to thank you though for those on YouTube who have joined me. If you would like the rest of the reading on how to be healthy in your mind, body, and spirit, please join us over on drmillysays.com. I will put the link below. Thank you and have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed this reading.